I wonder how you like to show someone that you love them. Maybe with a hug. Or sending a present. Or maybe giving them a cup of tea. In our next meal, Jesus was invited to eat at a home of a man named Simon. He was a Pharisee, which means he was a good church attending man who was well respected. He hosted a meal for Jesus, and in those days they would eat meals lying down, a bit like this. It was at this meal that a woman arrived. She hadn't been invited, but she wanted to see Jesus. She came to him at the table and knelt down near his feet. She was sobbing. Her tears fell on Jesus' feet and she started to wipe the dirt away with her hair and tears. Then she broke open a bottle of very expensive perfume and poured it all over his feet. It was surprising and a bit embarrassing. Simon wasn't happy when he saw this. He thought, if Jesus knew what that woman was like, he would tell her to get away from him. This woman had a bad reputation and everyone knew it. But Jesus did know what the woman was like. He knew every bad thing she'd ever done. But he didn't push her away or tell her to leave. He welcomed her because he knew what was really happening in her heart. Jesus knew that this woman hugely, massively loved him. It wasn't a mushy, romantic kind of love. It was a thankful love. She knew that Jesus loved her and welcomed her even though she had done some awful things in her life. This woman understood she was a sinner. She knew she needed a saviour. She knew she needed Jesus. Let's get back to Simon. He had invited Jesus for a meal, but he hadn't done anything special for him. That's because Simon didn't understand who Jesus was, a saviour. And Simon didn't understand what he himself was really like, a sinner. Behind the layers of looking good and doing what was right, Simon also had a heart that was messy and sinful. Two very different people had a meal with Jesus that day. One thought he was good, one knew she wasn't good. Only one of them was really forgiven. And so, only one of them loved Jesus. Sinners know they need a saviour. When we understand how bad our sin is, then we'll be really grateful to Jesus for forgiving us. It's only when we know how much we've been forgiven that we can be full of love, joy and thankfulness for him and everyone can see it. <laughs>